My name's James, and I paint minis. This is Spoon 37 Minis. So in part one of basic shading and highlighting, I showed you how to do the miniature on the left with dry brushing first and then wash afterwards. But I wanted to show you something a little bit different this time. I actually normally do the wash straight over the base coat. That's my normal work order. So I decided to show you that on the next Death Guard model to see what differences that makes. So just as before using uh, Games Workshop Agrax Earthshade pretty much straight out of the pot because I'm worried if I water it down it might go excessively glossy and then we just apply it straight over the base coat and you'll see fairly immediately this greatly increases the contrast because of course all of the recesses are now very dark but then this allows us to wait for this to dry and then start dry brushing over the top of that This is actually so quick and easy that I almost forgot to fit to actually record doing the last little bit of it. I almost went and did the helm and the, the chest plate and everything without recording it. Uh, and sometime later I noticed that I'd missed the armor plates over the chainmail down below, but I'll figure that out in a bit. But as you can see this is going together very nicely it's just washed directly over the base coat and the point that I'm really trying to make with this video is um, seeing as I've missed it you can actually see the difference between the plates over the chainmail and the stuff that's actually got wash on it is actually slightly darker and this allows you to do an extra little step which is dry brushing the base color so if I just compare them for you this is the base color and then this is the base color with the wash over it. You can see it's browner and darker and all of the recesses are dark and then in addition if we compare that to the one that's had dry brushing and wash you can see it's actually enhanced further still. Now having given that plenty of drying time because obviously wash takes a little bit longer to dry than normal paints we're going to dry brush with just the base color this was a step I couldn't do in the previous video simply because you were dry brushing directly over the base color it wouldn't have actually done anything because you'd be using base color over base color if you see what I mean and so this is like an extra step and in fact if you want to be really economical with your time you can just do base coat wash and then dry brush with the base coat and be done As before, we wipe the majority of paint off on the tissue and then just work the brush back and forth. I'm sorry about the bit I missed out earlier. I do figure it out in a few moments. In fact, I actually think I noticed it whilst I was doing this step. Um, so it does look a little bit weird that those plates in front of the chainmail are you know, missing any kind of wash, but it's quick enough to fix. And of course, I can apply the same steps later on. As you can probably tell already, this isn't as dramatic a highlight as some of the lighter colors, and that's kind of the point. This is a bit more subtle, but it is also highlighting. So we're bringing back the base color, and you can be quite generous with your dry brushing at this stage, because of course you can be more selective later with the lighter colors. Now here we have the champion with just the wash over the base coat, and then this one's been dry brushed over that. And then this one's been dry brushed and washed, but it's also been dry brushed with lighter colors. So you can see there is actually graduation there. You can take it as far as you like. Um, obviously I am gonna take it as far as the other one because I would like the three of them to match. 
So now we're going to mix uh, Death Guard Green with Rakarth Flesh, Flesh, just as we did before, and after that I'll mix Death Guard Green with Ceramite White for the final highlight colour. As ever, shake your paints, and if the lids are prone to snapping shut, put the little tube in that came with your paintbrush to stop them snapping on you. Now you'll also notice I've mixed up a large quantity of paint this time, because I'm actually going to do all of the remaining Death Guard, the torsos, the backpacks, the, the gun arms and so on, that I haven't already done to this point. So it's more paint than last time, and I'm trying to show you the wiping the stuff off on the tissue in a bit more detail, but you'll actually find it is actually sensible given the number of things that I've actually got to paint. You don't need a crazy amount of paint for dry brushing, but I do need more in this case because I'm doing more parts. Now, compared to before, I am being a little bit more sparing, although I do have the brush fairly well loaded up with paint. It is catching fairly readily on every surface I go near, so I don't need to go too crazy in terms of pressing the brush into it or, or getting you know lots and lots of paint i just need it to highlight what's already been done um, and then we can move on to the lighter color and it should be better still that's done and as I say I'm going to do the other parts like the backpacks the gun arm and so on and as you can see this one has had the death guard green the agrax earth shade wash and then the death guard green dry brushing and now we're having death guard green and rakal's flesh mixed together and in just a few seconds it's already highlighted same again with the gun arm it's had the same steps just needs a little bit of dry brushing and we're all set Now moving on to the lighter colour, I've already mixed up the Death Guard Green with Ceramite White for the final highlight colour, and you could have left it at this stage, it is fairly light, but if we just go over it with this, it's actually at the same highlighted stage as the previous one, though I think it will actually end up slightly lighter because we're doing the dry brushing after using the wash, rather than going over it with wash, which actually dulls it down a little. You'll see what I mean at the end of the video. Now the trick here as before is not to go too crazy, don't go too deep into the brush, don't cover up too much of what you've done before, you're just trying to add a bit of a lighter colour, just um, any raised surface, any upper edges, where it could do with just being a little bit lighter. fully highlighted now and so we have this one which had dry brushing and then wash and then this one had wash first and then dry brush with the base color and then the two highlight colors which actually makes the highlights lighter and yet the recesses are just as dark right if you watched this far firstly thank you for watching if you did like it please hit like hit subscribe hit the little bell shaped icon so that you know when the next video will be coming out i'm hoping to keep a release schedule of a about two videos a month.